Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, bro. Let's go. Guys, crazy. Oh my gosh, that, that resembled a bait ball at the jetties. What is up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Fish Again Milligan. Today we're out here with my esteemed guest and colleague, Fishing with Jay Say. He's there in the background. What's up? What up? I wish I could zoom in, but I can't because I'm using the front camera. But we are here today. Yeah, I'm crazy standing on the kayak. I might fall, but oh well, it's all good. We're out here today throwing some top waters with our bait casters. Yeah, we're a little crazy, but you know, it's like, it's how we like to do it. So you guys stay tuned. It's gonna be a good one. Let's go. <laughs> Maybe. They say early bird gets the worm, but second mouse gets the cheese, right? Because the first one got eaten by the cat. That's right. It reminds me of the sand lot. Throw him the cheese. The high stinky. That's awesome, dude. I haven't fished for bass in a while. I've heard Edinburgh's pretty decent. Oh, jellyfish, bro. <laughs> oh, that was a bull. That was a bite, guys. Oh man, that was a nice tug too. <laughs> Ooh, fine. Tug on the top water, boys. Nothing like it. That's because I was just about to switch to. It's getting uh, almost to eight o'clock here, and I thought maybe it's time to put the top water away, but still throwing it. Getting some bites. Uh, yeah, I had some topwater blow ups, but uh, nothing. Uh, actually, I thought it had it for a little bit. It was like a tick tick. And then uh, it went down and I started reeling in and it came off, so. Yeah. We just expect to slay it because it's a nice day, but. Yeah, that and uh, like I said, last time we came out, I mean, it was just before the end. Yeah. Here, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Some bites. There you go. Ooh, bro, bro, bro. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. Wow. Let me see if I can reach that. Nah, I can't reach that. Dang, that's far away. Holy co. Yeah, deeper water. Yeah, I I, uh, I tell Captain Eli, I said, man, you uh, you really helped me out because I really didn't fish, you know, like salt water too much. I just did bass and things. And uh, he's like, nah, man, come on my boat. And I feel like the channel kind of took off a little more too after that. That's just what people want, you know? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was one, bro. <laughs> Dude, it's, the line started trailing like a bass, and I was like, oh, shoot. 
the it was like a tick tick and then the line started trailing but oh. it must have been something small it's crazy I need to learn to set the hook like you, nice and soft. To set to the side. To the side, okay. There we go. Like that. Oh, it came off, dude. That was a trout, though. Yeah. All right, guys, just to give you a little narration for the day, we are seeing tons of bait, lots of blow ups. We got some good uh, blow ups on the top water and we switched to some soft plastics, but we haven't been able to connect other than a skipjack that, uh, that JC had a little bit earlier. Um, but this deeper water, we thought it would be the shallower water, the grass, but nope, it's a little out here, a little bit deeper. It's about 8.55, so almost 9 o'clock. And we're just throwing some soft plastics, trying to get it a little bit deeper, and this seems to be getting a little more bites for us. So stay tuned. There's one. Oh, it came up. Little tiny little peck peck. Sometimes it's little peck pecks for bait. Sometimes it's a trout, so... Stay tuned, guys. Whoa! Oh my gosh! My gosh, bro. Let's go. Guys, crazy. Oh my gosh. That, that resembled a bait ball at the jetties. Right over here. Something big has got to be chasing that. That is a ton of bait. Hey, big red, big red, bro, big red. Oh my gosh. Bro, a big red was just chasing right here. And then I got all tangled up. I saw his body, man. He was probably like 28 or 30. I mean, beelining after some bait. Oh my gosh. Amazing, amazing. Anyways, we're gonna try to catch a few we still see a lot of activity. We think it's picking up, so you guys sit back, stay tuned, and we're gonna keep fishing here. Fishing with JC here on Fishing and Milligan. You guys stay tuned. All right, guys, first trout, here we go. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, trout! <laughs> oh, he started, he's grunting, guys. He's a male. <laughs> nice. First trout. Let's go. <laughs> good to always see these guys out here, man. I don't care if it's small. It's all good. Thanks, buddy, for letting me catch you. There he goes. <laughs> Wow, guys, what a grind it's been. I, I tell you what, though, it sure is nice getting out here um, with uh, with JC. Uh, we threw the salt native right there, pulled them out. <sighs> Catching any fish is fine with me, any fish. So it doesn't have to be, you know, three reds and the, well, currently the three trout limit, but usually five trout limit. It doesn't have to be a Texas slam as long as we get out here. It's a beautiful day it's nice enjoying god's creation hey don't get any better than this man i just wish maybe my dad would have been able to come out here or maybe my wife i'm i'm trying to tug on their on their arms see if they can come out here and kayak with me every now and then but it is nice to get out here just enjoy it man uh just so you guys know i mean jc is no slouch this guy has won 
two kayak tournaments down here. So uh, he's definitely no slouch. We try, we decided to try a different area today. The area we wanted to try was a, a little bit muddy. So it was kind of hard to get back in there. So this is kind of a, a different spot than we would have, you know, wanted to pick. But, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to try out new water and see what happens. And today I'm throwing this uh, salt native paddle tail. And uh, I was also throwing this earlier and I kept getting fish following me, but nothing wanted to take it. This little Yozuri here. So that was pretty cool. With my uh, loose inshore reel that I got at a flea market for 50 bucks. I'm, uh, I'm pairing it up with a salt native with the 20 pound mono leader, tied uni to uni to a 20 pound braid. And I'm using the Daiwa Tatula Elite. It's a great reel. Left handed, 8 to 1 gear ratio, and a custom bare bones rod made for yours truly, Fishkin Milligan. So big thanks to Jeremy Pilpas. You guys make sure to check him out. All right, let's see if we can catch another one. <laughs> really? And then... Uh-huh. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice little trout. Oh, it came off, bro. No! <laughs> no! That's just like, wow. What? How to end a day, right? Both of us, man. Albino roach, guys. 316, 3JD. Nice trout, but we lost it. <laughs> it's uh, 1122, boys. There it is. Come on now. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and then it just came off. What are the chances in this deeper water, bro? This is deep here. Not always the flats, boys and girls. No, it's not. It's and a half. Man, you would have had a sick underwater intro right there. Or outro, I guess. The fish. Just have to have fish. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the action for the fight today, buddy. We're gonna touch poles here. <laughs> oh. oh no! <laughs> oh my god. In a boat! I'm trying to get this hook out. There we go. All right, guys, this one's special right here because he's the last one. Here he goes back into the wild. We can't say we got skunked. We caught something. Uh, maybe it wasn't landed 100%, but it was close. We caught some little guys. It wasn't a world record trout. Yeah, <laughs> nothing world record, nothing to, to write home about, but uh, still fun nonetheless out here fishing with JC. That stands for Julian Cortez, but it also stands for something else. The other JC in our life. Fishing with JC, my lord and savior, baby. That's right. Kept us safe out here, had a great time. Beautiful, man, beautiful out here. You can only see the water today, y'all. Out super here, clear. super clear. Just beautiful conditions. Couldn't have asked for a better day to come out on the water. No, sir. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Next time, we promise to bring you a few more. We'll see you guys, hopefully, next time on the water. Peace out.
What is up guys? We are back at the house. We have the kayak. It is dirty. It is nasty. But thank you so much for Better Boat Products reaching out to us via email and they sent us some awesome goodies and we're going to wash the kayak. We're going to wash the boat today with that stuff. So let me show you guys what they sent. Starting off with the hose and also the soap foam gun. Also we have the boat sponge set. It comes with this awesome sponge, microfiber cloth and also a bucket that is collapsible. We also got a deck brush and also some boat soap. We're excited to try it out. Let's get to it. Sounds like you in there, yeah. Pack is nice and clean going back into storage thank you so much to better boat products you guys make sure to check them out these are some awesome products if you guys are cleaning your boat kayak even your truck uh, this will work for you guys so definitely recommend it check them out thank you so much better boat <laughs> 